に石井智弘うわエネルギーがすごいもピットブルグスなんだなんだなんだ,なんだ味方である健太が何何ブサイクルの仕掛けに何だそれって何で石井の顔面取られた何,何で健太が何でこのスリープか何でこのどういうことなんだ味方の健太が石井に同点スリープ何何したいんだいやちょっとールどういうことだボールいやカウントスリーだちょっと待ってくださいこれ健太ひょっとして何この微妙な関係はいや,いや,いや,いや笑ってますよ柴田選手のソウルメイト柴田にいざなわれて望んだ G1 何これ微妙なこの笑顔はどういうことなんだえバレットクラブいやよしよしそれ起こるそれ起こるそれ起こるそれ起こるよしよしよしよしよしよそして LA 道場勢がめった打ちえ LA 道場勢もいや柴田のソウルメイトの健太が何裏切ったのかこれいやバレットグラブに入るということかちょっと待ってマイク要求してますよいや健太どうした嘘だろ嘘だろ大ブーイングですいやーあー来た柴田選手柴田,柴田が来た,柴田,来た,柴,田来た柴田何をしてんだとお前何をしてんだと柴田来たうわー相手が柴田が怒ったんだよ柴田が怒った柴田が怒ったどういうこと柴田が怒ったエルボール柴田の気持ちが収まるどういうこと欠場中の柴田勝利がどういうことなんだBecoming a Bullet Club member. Now, you guys know well、uh, past, I think it was sometime in like in、uh, probably beginning of July, whatever,、uh, as, as,、uh, I think it was ending of June, I'm sorry, was when、uh, Southern Showdown in Australia where、uh, Robbie Ewell turned on the Bullet Club. 
and um, and everybody was saying, wow, you know, this guy just was Bullet Club uh, last year, and now all of a sudden now he joined Chaos. So Robbie Eagle hasn't been seen in New Japan ever since that happened. But it's funny how Sunday night, um, to, uh, Bad Boy Tamatanga ended up tweeting that he, him, and the rest of the guy had recruited a athlete with uh, a guy with athleticism that is going to make Bullet Club better. Who in the world knew? That this was gonna happen where Kenta ended up attacking Ishii in a six-man tag where it was Ishii, Kenta, and J Joshi Hashi against um, the Gorillas of Destiny and Bad Luck Fale. As you all saw, he turned on Ishii and when he went to get the microphone out of nowhere, uh, when Kenta was ready to speak to the crowd, he was mocking the crowd, doing this to them. Uh, as you can well see, Shibata ended up coming in the ring and pretty much started um, Beating up um, Kenta, I guess he was pissed off because remember, uh, Shibata was the one who brought Kenta into New Japan, so he could be in the G1 Climax and Dominion in June. So here is Shibata upset that Kenta actually turned his back on the on the LA Dojo and Shibata. So he ended up um, beating up um, um, Kenta, and as he did the the drop kick in the corner, as soon as he did that, he grabs Kenta, he puts him in a uh, sleeper hole, and then he tries to hit him with a PK. But then, um, out of nowhere, um, the, um, the master heater, um, Jado, goes and hits uh, Shibata on the back with the candlestick. Shibata turns his back. Bad mistake. Kenta ends up, as you guys saw, choking him out, hitting him with the PK. But what does this uh, pretty much tells us the story about Bullet Club. I mean, you guys know that Bullet Club uh, is, has not been that powerful ever since the Elite left, even though I personally feel that the whole thing with the Elite, they pretty much put the Tom, the Tongas behind like they were just the B players, and I wasn't too happy about that, and I was happy when they attacked the Elite in San Francisco last year, and I felt that now them being the way they are is great. I feel that they should bring in an American wrestler of uh, just to add into the into the mold, somebody with name prestige. I thought it would be John Moxley. It would be great, but Moxley's with AEW, so I don't see um, AEW working with Bullet Club because that's a New Japan faction. But never know, things can happen. Um, you know, um, hey, anything can happen. You know, and it was uh, something that I was really looking forward to. And uh, the G1 climax uh, was the Ibushi. Uh, winning the match, but like I said the big story from New Japan was Kenta becoming a Bullet Club member What's gonna happen now? It looks like uh, for Royal Quest coming up on August 31st Kenta will be wrestling for the never open way title against Ishii and uh, that's gonna be a great match um, I think uh, Minoru Suzuki is going after Okada's belt. He's gonna be the next one online um, I do not know what Naito is doing. I got it Keep following the cards, those little cards that I know of. And speaking about Ibushi, Ibushi made it clear that he wants to go after the Intercontinental IWGP um, title that Naido has. So that's something that he wants to conquer, but he already got the contract for Wrestle Kingdom on January since he won the G1 Climax. He will go after the IWGP belt. Whoever is the champion at the time, right now, Okada is the champion. So he wants to become the first wrestler in J New Japan history to hold IWGP Intercontinental Champion and the IWGP World Champion. Naito was thinking about doing that, but uh, as you can see, Naito did not win the G1 Climax, but he's still the Intercontinental Champion, which is something that, you know, um, it's, it's, it's for us to look forward to. Also, New Japan is going to have the J Cup. One of the main attractions that I believe it starts this week, if I'm if I am correct, uh, one of the things they're going to have is the J and the J Cup is Will Osprey against Amazing Red. That's going to be a great match. I, I, I am looking forward to that. That's something to look forward to uh, in the coming weeks. Um, also, um, I want to talk a little bit um, the WWE. They they're bringing the King of the Ring. Uh, I guess they, they figure, hey, New Japan did a great tournament, so now they want to copy and bring in the King of the Ring. I think, personally, they should have just done the pay-per-view, King of the Ring, instead of having raw matches for eight guys or whatever it is, and then uh, eight matches um, in SmackDown, whatever it is, 
um, four matches, whatever, to then to make it put it in a probably Clash of the Champions or whatever they're planning to do. Um, so that's something that you know I, I want to know who who's gonna win that you know right now. So, uh, but that's part of it. Also, if I the Impact um, Wrestling News real quick, um, the LAX are gonna wrestle tonight. The last match in TNA. They remember the contract is up. Or it was already up, and it's still, I guess, uh, finishing their commitment. Um, they wrestled last night the North in Mexico. They lost. Well, at the end of the match, they uh, they both hugged because that, most likely that's it for them um, uh, for wrestling and with t under the banner of Impact because I still think they're still going to AEW. I still think they're going to AEW. They're still going to end up wrestling for AAA Wrestling. So that's going to happen because of Conan's connection with AAA Wrestling and. AEW having a Triple A connection, so that's something to look forward to. Also, um, Tenille Dashwood is supposed to wrestle uh, Kiara Hogan. That is going to be her debut. She has an eye on Valkyrie's title, so that's something to look forward to. Um, so, but tonight's going to be Swan and Mac versus LAX, Jessica Havoc and Sue Young, and OVE versus RVD, Dreamer, and Rhino and Tessa Blanchard. Tessa Blanchard, I have been having mad respect for her. That woman has been stepping in the ring with guys. You don't see that. She's gonna, she is what I call evolving the woman wrestling right now to the fullest. And I, I believe that she's doing a very good, uh, well, a good job actually, um, stepping up the game. AEW, real quick, I'm gonna, um, Orange Cassidy signed with AEW, as you guys know, uh, on October 16th. And uh, I believe it's the second show. They're gonna, um, the world title will be defended in Philly. AEW sold both shows, the one in Boston and the one in Philly, sold out already. As you can see, you guys, you know, a lot of WWE fans who, who uh, are wishing the AEW fails, well, guess what? It's, this is great for wrestling. It's competition. It makes WWE step up their game, which they need to because it's getting, it's getting, um, you know, boring to see Raw every week, the same crap, whatever. And I'm not going to get into WWE, but um, NXT, they just brought in a new performance uh, group that's going to be practicing and going to train under the performance center. One guy who's in there is Austin Theory. Austin Theory is the Evolve World Champion. I saw him at the 10th anniversary. He is a great wrestler. He does his thing. Um, and um, I'm very looking forward to it. The guy's only 21 years old. He could... He could bring down the house, you know, um, and, um, you know, something to look forward to also. Um, also, real quick, WWE, uh, Buddy Murphy made his debut Tuesday. Uh, he and Roman Reigns made them look great. He, uh, Buddy Murphy's a great wrestler. He was a Cruiserweight Champion 205, and I don't know why WWE kept him for three months on the side. I, I don't understand that. Also, news coming from WWE is that the handshake that Dolph Ziggler and Vince McMahon had as uh, as uh, Dolph Ziggler finishing up with WWE, McMahon backed up on his word. Now he says he'd rather have him uh, sit down and pay and get paid at home because what the AEW effect is real, guys. The AEW effect is real. Imagine a uh, uh, Mr. Ziggler in AEW wrestling a guy like Kenny Omega. That would be a great a great match. Um, also coming from a the, um, actually WWE was. The fact that uh, uh, it was in WrestleZone that Alistair Black um, kind of telling um, Bray Wyatt, look, I, I know you have a door and I'm going to knock it. So which, it would be great to see Bray Wyatt versus Alistair Black, the fiend against the Black Mask. But the difference is uh, Alistair Black is in SmackDown and the fiend is in Raw. Right now there's a lot of controversy because the way... Um, um, the Fiend came out on SummerSlam. Uh, there's a lot of people who feel that religion is getting involved. It's more like a satanic thing. Look, it's a, a great upgrade. Yes, wrestling sometimes gets a little crazy, but I feel that hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, uh, but that's it. This week has very been a very slow week. Um, um, yeah, you had SummerSlam, but that was Sunday. We had an NXT takeover and all that stuff. So now is. So this week is going to be kind of slow. The following week is where we're going to have to get prepared for All Out, Royal Quest, NXT UK, 
And I believe, I think that's about it. Yeah, so those are three maps in August. has been a very, very busy month. New Japan is going to get better, guys. September, they got the Destruction shows, Hiroshima, and I believe uh, uh, Hiromu, I think, in Destruction. It's going to be a lot. So now with Kenta turning, e, uh, turning heel with the Bullet Club, there's going to be something to look forward to. I'm very, for, you know, very interested in what's going to happen with that so guys i thank you very much for tuning in thank you for the subscribers thank you for all the people who are supporting me in this podcast um you guys can check out the contents i have here um you could subscribe to it hit that notification bell for new uploads uh, hit that thumbs up can't give me my comments leave your comments anything negative positive don't matter to me um i also have uh, a lot of platforms you can reach me. I got uh, Discord, Facebook, Twitter, um, and Instagram, Ultimate One Wrestling News. Just click on the YouTube channel and all my stuff is in the top. It'll lead you to the pages. I thank everybody who supported. Tell a friend. Um, don't be afraid to let your friends know about this podcast. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you guys again. So for that, have a good night. For the Ultimate One. Peace.